Hello guys, all good here. Um, so this is my post fight review on the Canal vs. Um, vs. Um, Jim Alchala fight for Undisputed Supermate Championship on this that came on this Saturday. Um, in a nutshell, disappointing. Charles did not try all to the very pretty much last minute. Very. Obviously, he's moving up two weight classes, so it won't be fast on his feet, moving up the weights, and this is from pretty much not many punches. And for me, the right one's on the wall, pretty much from round five onwards, and a complete shot out from, you know, Canelo, and he's just here for the payday. Third round, um, he got dropped, I think, was it from... The canal was it was it a hook was it all right was it over I think it was all right hand over right right hand and you just plan to survive um Charlo. Um Corf will destroy him at one five four and um and um I think Tom Soup did he beat Charlo? It's more even but Maybe Charles doesn't have hunger anymore a box after the big paid of Canelo. But Corp 100% beats him and Tim Zoo potentially beats him as well. Um, very disappointing fight. Very disappointing with Charlo. I thought would, the fight would be more competitive than it actually was. He wasn't competitive at all. Only good thing is that Charlo got his payday and he did get stopped and become an internet meme. But the footwork, worse, no, no uh, determination, not throwing, he just, I don't know, fighting to survive more than anything, no dogging him. Do you fight your life and you want to prove you're the best? You're not making the best of the opportunity. I guess it, all he cares about is payday. You know, I've got, I got, got the bag, i will set from life. Who cares? But, I don't know. I just hope, only thing I hope is that Canelo fights either Benavides next. I think Benavides will beat um, Dimitri Andre come November. Or if that's Morel, Benavides Morel. Because I think those two fighters are the only challenge left for Canelo at 168. Canelo has it between three to five fights at max. I think he'll fight Benavides next. If Benavides, you know, fights, uh, um, beats Andre, I think, will, I think he will beat Dimitris Andre come November. All Mexican showdown come May next year. Him and Benavides is the fact to make 168. I think it'll be the toughest uh, challenge for Canel since, um, or definitely since Bivol. Even though. Benavides has about has if we've been any one of note apart from Killer Plant. I just think Benavides will. I've got a feeling it would be the toughest fight since um, Bivol. I've got a feeling Benavides will be the man to give you know that that tough challenge he needs. Him and Morel definitely. Crawford that'd be a dream fight. Where Crawford can handle that size and power of Caminello is another thing. If Crawford doesn't fight Spence now, I think Crawford just fight, become unspit 154, you know, fight, um, you know, obviously beat Charlo and, and Tim Zhu. Once you, you come unspit at 154, get used to being, you uh, know, come up the weight, at least one weight, then I think Crawford should fight Canel as a retirement fight once he unifies that 154. Cause I think I'd, I'm Crawford. Crawford beats Charlo and um, Tim Zoo. I'm confident of that. I'm confident of that. The um, Ramos Lubin fight. I watched that fight. I heard it's a robbery. I heard Lubin won, and Ramos should have won it. But I may watch that fight later and see and give my post for fights um, later on in the week. Um. Anyways, I will do. I'm watching Sky um, fight that took place on Saturday. The Carol and the Boy fight, I'm gonna watch probably after this video and I'll do my Sky um post fight review um for boxing event tomorrow, sometime tomorrow.
and give me thoughts on those fights. And, and obviously, Caroline had a good performance, and so and so did Udell Riley. And Jerry KDB got his first um, loss, so I watched those fights and give my thoughts come tomorrow. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening. Um, come and subscribe, guys. You take care. Have a good day.